Hi guys, we know it has been a while. It has been an incredibly hot and long summer and camping and doing camping related mods is just not in our wheelhouse at that time. But fall is here, so it's time to get back in the groove. If you follow our channel, you know that Linda and I definitely enjoy the challenging mod, but sometimes the simple ones make just as great an impact. And that's the topic of today's video. We're gonna bring you eight simple mods that you can do to your camper that we think improves your camping experience. Linda and I love a game. In this video, there are six cards, just like this. If you put it together, what songs we're trying to reference, leave it in the comments down below. The first 10 people to do so will get a free sticker. One thing we've always been looking for in the camper is more light, especially directional light. We've been using this guy for over a year now. And we're real happy with it. This is mod number one. The light bar comes with two mounts that can be attached with the included adhesive tape or screws, a remote, and the best thing, a charging cable, so no batteries. So this was an easy install. We used the adhesive tape to go ahead and attach the mounts. They've held up over a year with no issues. Now the light attaches by a magnet to the mounts. We installed one over the couch and one over the bed and just move it around as we need to. Now, although you don't need the remote to operate the light, it does make it easy to adjust the color and the brightness. Plus the mounts allow it to tilt or swivel. This is one of our favorite quick and easy mods. This is mod number two. Linda saw this online and it involves a pop socket that you might use with your cell phone. In this situation, we're using it on the sliding plastic panel of the screen door. Super simple. This pop socket is going to make opening and closing this panel on the screen door a little bit easier. First, we applied some rubbing alcohol to clean the area, peeled off the plastic, and applied. Now, it opens and closes easily, and it adds a little decorative touch to the door as well. In a camper, it's always about the organization, and the next three mods all involve helping us stay a little bit more organized. The cabinets in the kitchen part of our camper are just open boxes where everything's kind of unorganized and stuffed in there. And that was our situation, till Linda located a pull-out cabinet organizer from the container store. This is the Alpha Easy Glider Cabinet Organizer. We really liked it because it's very lightweight it was easy to install and it's nice and tall so we can store a lot of different items in it. Now we did add some wood to the bottom of the cabinet just to give the screws a little something extra to bite into. Then we assembled the little clips and the organizer comes with little plastic screws that you then fit down through the mesh into those little clips. Tighten those down with the screwdriver and it slides right on. Now I can store all of my Dash mini appliances in there along with a pan. I wrap everything in towels to keep them nice and safe during travel and nothing goes flying around the cabinets anymore. Mod number two were these cabinet shelf partitions that Linda found at Ikea. So different types of these can be found online but we like these from Ikea because one, they're inexpensive, and two, it's an easy install. Two screws into the bottom of the cabinet, and now I have a place to keep my cutting boards, dish drainer, dish mat, all tucked away up against the side of the cabinet, and nothing moves during travel. The third mod was to try and add some storage in that very small bathroom. So to solve some of those bathroom storage problems, we bought this from Ikea. It is the Anudin Over the Door Hanging Organizer. Now we like this for a number of reasons. One, it's a pretty substantial steel, so we thought it would hold up well during travel. Two, it has little holes at the top of the hangers, so we can screw it directly into the door so it doesn't move during travel. 
and three, it has these little foam pads anywhere that the hangers touch the door so it doesn't scratch it. Now, as you would expect, the install of this, pretty straightforward. We assembled the bracket. The only tough part was to get those screws in at the top of the door, we did have to take the door off the hinges and it was much easier having both of us. We've been traveling with this now for a couple of years and it's held up, hasn't moved a bit. For many of us, taking your dog on the road is an absolutely essential part of the camping experience. But we had a problem. Where do we put the water in the food bowl? In a small camper, we were always having trouble locating the right spot for it. Till Linda located this little flower pot holder. Problem solved. Now these collapsible flower pot holders come in different sizes. We chose the four inch because they fit Desi's bowls perfectly. The hardest part about this modification is just figuring out where to put it. Once we did, it was just two screws and we put a stick on magnet at the top. So now we can fold it up and the magnet holds it closed. Now the next one is something I never thought I'd say in the same sentence, at least regarding camping. And that's something Linda found online surfing the web. A combination of waterproof toddler shoes and fold down camper steps. This one I found on Facebook. The feet on our camper step always get filthy and drag that into the camper. So this started with a trip to the thrift store where we found some toddler shoes. Slip them onto the feet of the steps. And now, hopefully, it's gonna keep it a little bit cleaner the next time we go out. A nice bonus, Linda thinks, is that it adds a little whimsy to the campsite. The last one is one of my personal favorites. One of the problems we have in the morning is I have nowhere to put a coffee cup down on that little couch. The cup holders don't really work that well. Well, these inserts, they solve that problem. We did do a video a few months ago of a quick and easy shelf mod, but sometimes we just want to be able to put a coffee cup in the holders. And that's where this insert comes into play. We just wrap some electrical tape around the bottom and we can just go ahead, stick it into the existing cup holders. And now we have a place to put our coffee. So there you have it. Now we would always love to hear your favorites, so please leave them in the comments down below. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And as always, Desi loves for you guys to hit that notification bell.